welcome to the Metals Investment Forum. I have here Kevin Kiel, Evergold Corporation CEO, and he's going to tell us about his uh, company. Kevin, so can you tell us about this Golden Triangle and then your prior experience with it? Yes, uh, the Golden Triangle, as you know, is um, an area of northwestern British Columbia which seems to host a lot of very rich gold deposits, um, historically and more recently. So it's a prime area for investor interest. And uh, we've been active, uh, I've been active with some of my industry colleagues up there for the, about the last five, seven years in particular. Most recently with a company called GT Gold, uh, we've delivered the large saddle discovery. It's a porphyry copper gold discovery, which Newmont Gold Corp recently bought into. So um, that gave us a kind of model to follow for success. And uh, uh, I've moved on from GT Gold to Evergold. Uh, we're basically going to try to replicate that model, Chen. Oh, great. Great. Yeah. So can, can you tell, give us some information about your management team, what their experience and sure. the, their success, yeah. including the, the GT Gold and other success? Certainly. Um, I'm a geologist by training. I uh, studied a bit of engineering too. But um, So I'm a geologist. I spent many years in investment banking. Uh, other elements of our team are largely based out of Penticton, British Columbia. We have a full exploration group there led by Andy Mitchell. Uh, key um, advisor to the company is Charlie Gregg, who is a famous geologist in BC, well known for his work in the Golden Triangle on Bruce Jack and some of those really rich mines in particular. So Charlie is there, his team is there providing the, the exploration success or support. We also actually have a really good board of directors, uh, Darwin Green, who's recently taken high gold public with quite a bit of success and Rosie Moore. So we have a, a qualified board. Uh, we've got the people we need to really execute our vision on the ground, and that's what we're going to do next year. Oh, great. Mm. Yeah, personally, I've been to Bruce Jack three times. Oh, yeah. So every time they have fantastic drilling results. Hmm. So maybe tell us what ready-to-drill project you have and uh, what you can, uh, yes. investor expect to see in yeah. 2020. Well, uh, we have two flagship properties, and they are both in northwestern BC. We own 100% uh, both these properties. Now, the first is Snowball. The Snowball is located in the heart of the Golden Triangle. It's just about 10 kilometers off Highway 37. You can see the highway from it. This is an intrusion-centered system. There's a diorite intrusion has come up. It's a gold-silver rich system. And we know it has high-grade gold-bearing vein potential and bulk tonnage potential. So it could emerge potentially if we're successful as a bulk tonnage open pit kind of scenario or high-grade underground or both. That's Snowball. We also have Golden Lion, which is a much larger property located about an hour's flying time to the east of Snowball. It's also, though, in the same rocks, the same Stikine terrain ter uh, rocks of the Snowball property. And it is one of these properties that uh, we've developed as a private company, having just gone public. It seems to get better the more work we do in it. And it has several styles of high-grade gold-silver and high-grade copper uh, bulk tonnage and, uh, and SCARN style mineralization. So both these properties are drill ready. For the 2020? For 2020, that's right. Great. We, yeah. Do you have any other project in the pipeline or those are the primary two those, projects? Those are the primary targets. Those are the flagships. We've issued two 43101 reports, one for each, which is somewhat unusual. Most companies, you know, we just did an IPO, mm -hmm. right, in October. We raised three and a half million dollars and we had two technical support, uh, technical reports supporting that IPO. Uh, one for Snowball, one for Golden Line. We do, however, though, have a couple of other pipeline projects. One is called Holy Cross. It's west of Prince George. It has, uh, it's another intrusion-centered system. And we have Spanish Mountain Gold, which is Spanish, I'm sorry, Spanish Lake Gold. It's close to Spanish, Spanish Mountain. Mountain. <laughs> yeah. It's Spanish Lake, we call it. It's a long strike from Spanish Mountain. 
and it is one of these vein hosted uh, it's actually veins that are hosted in sediments oh. and it's a goal only target that oh. we have there but from the minute i can tell you we're keen to focus on snowball and golden line okay great can you mm -hmm. tell us uh, the catalyst the timeline for 2020 from yes. potential investors well uh, really the biggest catalyst for the forthcoming year is going to be drilling, right? Drilling is the only thing anybody cares about, right? We can do sampling of soils and rocks. People really don't care. Uh, I like sampling of soils and rocks because the geochemistry tells you there's metal there. And when you know there's metal there, you can then put the drills on it and try to demonstrate what's actually in the rocks below. So the catalyst, the key catalyst for the year ahead is drilling. We plan to be drilling both Snowball and Golden Lion starting in June, July this year. We have an initial 2,000 meters of drilling focused on each property, so 4,000 in total. But that's just the kickoff phase. If we get successful, we'll scale up the program rapidly. Oh, good. Yeah. When, when did the drilling season end in that, that kind of area? Up there, it's uh, obviously a fairly short drilling season. Uh, this. Typically, it runs from, say, the beginning of June through to the middle of October. That's it. Now, uh, in certain circumstances, you can push it out at either end beyond that, but that's really when you've got to accomplish most yeah, of your work. Yeah. yeah. Okay, great, great. Mm -hmm. So what makes the Evergold unique uh, compared with all the other juniors out there? Yes. You know, all of these junior companies have a uh, market position that they're, they're aiming to kind of uh, uh, focus on and tap into. We are at the early stage pointy end of the business where what we're offering investors is the potential for rapid capital gains from a very low starting point. Uh, we believe we stand a very good chance, subject to a lot of risks, but we believe we stand a very high chance of delivering one or more discoveries this coming summer when we start drilling. And the reason we believe that is because we can actually feel, we can see the high grades of copper, gold, and silver in the rocks, and we can actually put drills on those targets and have confidence we're going to hit them. It then simply becomes a question of what kind of results will you get from the drilling? How many meters? What kind of grade, right? Yes. That the drills will tell. Okay, yeah. great. Hope you hit something like Bruce Jack. Well, we're looking forward to trying, <laughs> that's for sure. Okay, good luck. Thanks Kevin. very much, Chen. Yeah.